So what? So why is Minnesota going crazy right now? Because okay, I'm going to tell you why. Because Minnesota, man. Minnesota. God, man, they never they just didn't see no shit like that. Was like some Ku Klux Klan shit. Yeah, you know that was a culture. That was a shock. We everybody seen motherfuckers get smoked by the police with bullets. Nobody's seen that one like that though. Not nah, that but that was you know what I'm saying that it just hurt people's souls, bro. I quit my job, Dirk. I dropped out of society. Like I'm good. I'm good. I'm done. I can't be not until everything's right. I'm done with it, bro. Like I'm, I'm not a contractor anymore. I don't so, do anything. Like, well, fuck that. About, fuck that life. I'm talking about why the like first it was everybody looting. Then it went from everybody looting, everybody shooting each other. And and my my conspiracy is that maybe there's plants or something, but every ghetto is going up right now. Every large urban ghetto is going up in some type of either civil war. It's or... a civil war. No, no, don't say it for just what it is. It's a fucking civil war, bro. It's a civil war. It is. It is. It's a civil war, bro. And that's, see, nobody ever wants to call it that. This is a civil war, bro. Like, the fucked up thing about it is I've had over 100 police firearms pointed at me in probably, you know, 30, 40 different occasions. They never fired one shot in my direction, even when I was holding a smoking gun, bro. But I was shot unarmed once. And the other time, I was unarmed when a motherfucker tried to shoot me. And they both were from my community. You know what I'm saying, bro? They weren't yeah, cops. They but, weren't white. But how do you explain a thousand shootings in a weekend? What it was is it was a thousand. It was sixteen hundred um, weapon discharges in our city. If you shoot a gun off, a spotter catches it, and the police will come right to the spot. Can you tell the difference between the gunshot and the firework? Yeah, because gunshots go supersonic. Oh, they break the so, sonic barrier. Boom! They break that hear, sonic boom. That's why they're actually right. so loud. Like a, that, that boom, that wow. That's actually when I I learned that recently. You know. So right, so right now, like if a person lets off a firework, the helicopter gonna be there not too soon after. A firework won't settle off unless it's a big one. These things are like sensitive to certain like decibels of you know what I'm saying. They're, yeah. You know, my I just moved out of North Minneapolis. You know what I'm saying? And um, like, bro, gunshot will go over there before the riots, before all the shit. Gunshots went off, and the police were there in like two, three minutes. That's yeah. like, bro, and the, you know, they was on top of it as far as shootings, shootings. They were, they were, they were on top of them little. Then they're not gonna come and catch nobody, but they're gonna show their presence and make yeah. sure people flee. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But why all the gun violence? Fuck, I don't know, bro. It explode. Honestly, I felt like gun violence died down a lot in Minneapolis, even during the time I was shot. It, it wasn't a lot of gun violence. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't a lot of gun yeah. violence at all. It had died down because a lot of people got caught with their guns. Um, a lot of people snitched on each other. And here you could just give up the Medellin cartel and go to jail and nobody will do a thing to you. Then you can come back home and get right back in the game. And a real motherfucker like me is going to be like, huh? Like, bro, I'm just going to turn my back on, on you. But everybody else is going to yeah. fuck with you. If you, can get your, if you can get your money up, you can buy your way out of being a rat. And I'll, we, I'm not saying that to promote it. I'm just telling the truth about my city. And I'm really <coughs> disappointed about it. And I'm not going to lie. I'm not lying. No. It's wow. a problem with snitching here, bro. You know? And it's a problem with people setting up their brethren. So that's why. So that's why the jail. That's why they have the numbers in prison, out there. What you mean? That's why the snitches got the numbers in prison. I remember you was telling me like when, the way they was doing the housing out there. Yeah, yeah. Like they, Every killing. yard here is like a PC yard. Yep. Every, Every yard here is like a PC yard, bro.